Welcome, everybody, to St. Patrick's Cathedral for our live streaming of the Mass. Next week, New York City is going into stage two, so we will have the ability to have people come to church and be actually present, but we uh, are working on that right now. Uh, today, we celebrate the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, uh, a very special day in the life of the church. Uh, the Mass this morning is offered for Florence Marie Benson Hallowell. And later in the day, we'll be celebrating Mass for Massimo Bracci, Anthony Fasano, Sr., Orinda and Joseph Ghiacetti, James Healy, Anthony Weiner, Julius Mirabel. The celebrant of today's Mass is His Eminence, uh, Timothy Cardinal Dolan, the Archbishop of New York. We urge you to keep uh, those Letters coming, uh, helping us to keep the cathedral uh, running uh, as a beacon of hope for the city of New York and for the country that we're all part of. The entrance hymn is found in the St. Michael's Hymnal, number 680, 680, O Sacred Heart, All Holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. And with your spirit. We acknowledge our sins. We bundle them up, and we place them in the furnace, the burning furnace of love and mercy of the most sacred heart of Jesus. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I fail to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. 
Let us pray. O God, who in the sacred heart of your Son, wounded by our sins, bestow on us in mercy the boundless treasures of your love, grant, we pray, that in paying him the homage of our devotion, we may also offer worthy reparation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, you are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, for you are really the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers, that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the land of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is a God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments, but who repays with destruction a person who hates him he does not dally with such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord's, the Lord's kindness, kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world, Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love of God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
my yoke upon you, says the Lord, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will all things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All for thee, most sacred heart of Jesus, Sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in thee. Sacred heart of Jesus, I believe in your love for me. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on me, a sinner. Sacred heart of Jesus, may your kingdom come. For uh, 63 years <laughs> since I learned that little prayer to the most sacred heart of Jesus in uh, second grade, I have set it as my morning offering and as my night prayer. It's a great way to anchor the day. It's a great way to begin, begin and end each day. It's not let me down. And I'm happy to share it with you on this feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. All for thee, most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in Thee. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I believe in Your love for me. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on me, a sinner. Sacred Heart of Jesus, may Your kingdom come. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come, amen.
Pray now, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the sacred heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Heavenly Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high upon the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints of heaven, we praise you as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our 
Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion hymn is number 665, 665, O Jesus, joy of loving hearts. who are not able to receive Holy Communion today sacramentally, please join me in the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Just a word to all of our virtual parishioners that today in all of the um, Catholic churches in the Archdiocese of New York, we will be hearing confessions uh, from 10 to 12 and then from uh, 4 to 6. Uh, and everybody is welcome. Let us pray. 
May this blessed sacrament, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to the sacred heart of your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. The recessional hymn is number 560, 560, Heart of Christ. <laughs>